one word has been popping up a lot more, not only in home cinema, but also in modern hi-fi systems. Room correction. And some people say it is the next big thing. Hmm. So does that mean I have to correct my room? Like move around my furniture and my stereo tells me how? Nah, that's the wrong kind of room correction. But what does room correction do? And more importantly, what does it not do? Let's find out together in this video. First off, your speakers and amplifiers are of course the main source of sound. But that sound will change depending on the room the system is in. Don't believe me? There's lots of aspects that can color the sound in any given room. I'm not trying to be too complicated. So here are some acoustic basics. The most obvious thing is the reverberation time. Sound reflects off the walls, losing a bit of energy on every bounce, like bouncing a ball. Hard, flat surfaces like glass or concrete reflect a lot of sound and absorb little. Therefore, the sound can bounce around longer, leading to a longer reverberation time. Soft and structured surfaces like the fabric and carpets and curtains and even furniture are great at swallowing the sound, reflecting a lot less. You could say that every piece of furniture and the position can influence the sound in your room. There's a catch though. As you probably know, the curtain will block mostly the treble, so the high frequencies. Low frequencies, like bass, need much thicker absorption to be effectively blocked. Another important part of room acoustics are standing waves or room modes, which happen when the sound from a speaker collides with its own reflection. This either amplifies or cancels out certain frequencies. Sort of like when two waves meet each other on water. Where in the room and at what frequencies these room modes occur depend on the room dimensions and the speaker placement. The room modes are the reason why you can experience that your system has too much bass or too little bass or that the sound is super uneven when you walk around the room. Generally, you can lower the negative effects of room modes by absorbing the problematic frequencies before they can interfere with themselves. For example, via bass traps. But that can be a hassle and expensive. Now that you understand some of the very basic aspects of room acoustics, you can probably understand what room correction system tries to do. It tries to reverse the effects of the room on the sound to make your system sound the best it can. This is not a straightforward process and many companies have had their own go at creating their own spin on it. In Hi-Fi Club, there are three different mature room correction systems that are available in a selection of our products. Let's have a look at them. Maybe the most well-known one is Odyssey that is widely used for AV receivers and has been the staple with Denon and Marantz AV receivers. During the setup process, you connect a small microphone to the amplifier. It then asks you to put it into different positions and it plays a so-called sweep on each of the speakers. With these noises, it tries to listen to each speaker's frequency response at the listening position. The setup, together with Odyssey, gives some tips on what setting to use. It helps to smooth out the sound, especially in the bass region. Also, it measures the delay, or in other words, the distance and the loudness level of the speaker to give the most balanced sound on the listening position. When setting up an AVR, we always recommend you trying this out. There are three tiers of Odyssey, called Odyssey Multi-Q, Multi-Q XT and Multi-Q XT32 that are all calculated and processed on the AVR itself. The difference between the tiers is the resolution and the quality of this calculation. So you have a more detailed and intricate sound when using AVRs with the higher tiers. It usually comes on board with these AVRs. There's also an optional paid for app that moves the correction and calculation steps to your smartphone, shows more info and visualization of the measurement and can offer better result with its more powerful processing power. It is always worth giving Odyssey a try. Often enough, it improves the audible results by quite a bit, especially in the higher tiers of the software. Direct was introduced as a paid-for upgrade to some of the Denon and Marantz AVRs, but comes with all the NAD AVRs and some stereo components. Some NAD and Blue Sound products can also be upgraded with Direct. So, what does Direct do? Or rather, what does it do differently? Well, the basic setup is similar. You have a microphone that is connected to your amplifier or even your laptop. It asks you to place the microphone in some positions around your seating position and proceeds with the measurements. The approach is a bit more transparent and customizable compared to Odyssey. It also does sweeps with all the speakers and shows you the result for all speakers in an overview. This is great for all the people who are into this stuff. You can often clearly see the effects of your room has on the sound, causing all kinds of dips and peaks in the frequency response. It then analyzes the sound to see what corrections in time and frequency response need to be done. Contrary to Odyssey, the calculations are neither done on the device or your laptop. The data is sent to Direct and the calculations are done by powerful cloud computers in Direct server farms. By offloading these calculations, you get a very good result, leading to more refined correction. Also, you can adjust the so-called target curve for every speaker individually for your taste. That means more or less you can set the desired frequency response your speakers are supposed to have in the room and Direct figures out the magic. It is difficult to describe what Direct does differently to Odyssey. I put it like this. Odyssey cleans up some of the coloration the room adds 
but Direc goes deeper and not only cleans up the coloration, but adds a certain feeling of correctness to the sound. The tonal and spatial feel of the music just feels right and nice. When switching on and off Direc, this change becomes very apparent, especially in the bass region. The nice thing is that you can do multiple different target curves. For example, one target curve for late night listening with only a little bass and another one with lots of bass for parties. Direc comes in three, well, three and a half tiers. Direc Live LE is a light version that corrects everything from 20 to 500 hertz. While this might not sound like a lot, it solves most of the obvious acoustical problems like boomy bass and muddy mids. The full version then corrects up to 20,000 hertz to offer a more detailed correction. The next tier, called Bass Control, is especially made if you use multiple subwoofers, which are notoriously hard to integrate seamlessly with your speakers. I heard it once in a big room with two tiny compact speakers and four subwoofers hidden away in the corners. And I swear to you, even when standing directly in front of the small speakers, I was convinced they reproduced the bass, until I was shown the subwoofers. The last and newest tier is ART, short for Active Room Treatment. It is specifically made for surround systems with lots of speakers. Remember the explanation of room modes in the beginning? It tries to kind of reverse those effects. The short and technically very sloppy explanation. Imagine in a surround sound systems, you have speakers in the front and speakers in the back. The speakers in the front play some music that travels through the room and when it arrives in the back, the rear speakers place the negative of that music. So it is canceled out and instead of reflecting in the back of the room. Now imagine that for like 15 speakers playing different things at the same time. What's the saying again? any advanced enough technology looks like magic at some point. At the time of shooting this video, there's barely any product on the market that supports ART though. We're hoping for some exciting products in our lineup with ART soon. Lastly comes Room Perfect by the Danish brand Lyngdorf for its stereo and surround products. The system has been on the market for over 10 years, but as Peter Lyngdorf himself says, he wouldn't have named it that way if it wasn't perfect. Years and years of development by lots of engineers went into it. And without bragging, I think it might still be one of the best correction systems on the market. The approach to solve room issues is drastically different to Direct and Odyssey, by more or less working with the room as opposed to against the room. You connect a mic to the amp and follow the instructions on the screen of the amp or your mobile device. You measure once in your seating position and then in random room positions with the mic pointed randomly somewhere. What? Why random? Well, Room Perfect's approach is to understand what is happening in your whole room rather than only your seating area. And that way, it can better act on the room's acoustical issues. It also does not use the short sweeps you know from other room correction systems, but very long multitone signals for bass and treble. This has some big advantages. First, if you do a sweep and there is a noise in the background that you might not even hear, that will still be part of the measurement and might change the correction results. With the long signals, possible noises are overwritten by the right signal. Also, by playing multiple tones at the same time, you're able to really fill the room with acoustical energy and produce all the acoustical problems mentioned in the beginning. Only once you can properly produce the problems can you measure them and correct for them. The last advantage is that with using the multitone signal, the sound characteristics of your speaker can be measured and preserved. Other measurement systems tend to try to fit the speakers to their target curve regardless if the speaker can actually handle it. I think the big advantage here is that it just sounds so damn good. It preserves your speaker's sound signature, sounds more natural, beautifully dynamic and spacious while keeping the correctness I mentioned with Direc. It is kind of addicting even to turn it off and on again just to realize how stark the contrast is. There's a set of rules you need to follow to make Room Perfect sound the best. If you don't follow them, the measurements might sound off and opposed to Odyssey and Direc, you can see what in the measurements cost this. That also means you cannot really alter any of the measurements of the direct outcome of the measurements. This can be seen as a disadvantage for the tinkerers among us. Of course, if you want to alter the sound with a Lyngdorf device, you can use the so-called voicings to EQ your music in a later stage. But the measurement itself happens in a black box. Well, the best thing you can do is to come down to your local hi-fi club store. Our staff can actually show you how different room correction systems sound as opposed to me telling you in some video on the internet. Some people may have prejudice against altering the signal from your CD streams or even vinyl via DSP. And I do understand that a listening room with perfect acoustical treatment and a perfect stereo setup might not need room correction systems. But most of our listening rooms are in our homes and placing a stereo or even a home cinema is always a big compromise. These room correction systems can elevate your experience a lot, I promise. Try it out and share your experiences in the comments. See ya.